Hey guys, Lost Aaron. Welcome to another Minecraft mod battle here on the channel. Now, last week, guys, we had Foxy face off against the Stag Beetle, as you can see right here. The man's making his reappearance again. The 60 health monster of a beetle. Here he is, the Stag Beetle. Now, you're probably thinking, who could top this monster? Who could possibly pose a threat to this beetle? Well, the answer is the rhinoceros beetle yeah that's right we got two beetles now fighting each other from the erebus mod if you guys didn't know i've reviewed the erebus mod quite recently and i've taken a liking to most of their crazy psychotic insect mobs so we're going to be seeing who's more powerful today the stag beetle or the rhinoceros beetle both at 60 health i'm probably gonna tr i'm probably i'm gonna try to have a pull up this time i forgot to last time um so you guys can vote on which beetle you prefer and we're just going to go from there. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's make sure we're actually on hard mode as well. Three, two, one, let the fighting commence. Oh no, we're going to have to hear the, the noises again. Oh well, the well, stag beetle's kind of um, stuck. That didn't happen in the test run, by the way. In the test run, it was more of a all over the map kind of fight. But I guess the rhinoceros beetle wasn't playing this time around. Alright, that's fair. Now, since they both have the exact same amount of health, we're going to keep it an even ratio the entire time. So, two on two. And since these mobs do have more health, um, I'm not sure how many fights we're going to get in. But round two, let's see how this works. Wait, is the Rhino actually using his horn? Is it actually... I think it is. I think his horn actually does, like, shoot forward for a second. Wait. It does. It does. I'm pretty sure his horn, like, dips forward when he's trying to, like, hit the target. Now, of course, as you know, whenever they defeat their... Oh. Well, rhinoceros won twice now. Good job for the rhinoceros beetle. All right, let's have three rhino beetles this time, fighting against three stag beetles. Now, if it's still a uh, clean sweep, we're gonna probably have to start increasing the amount of stag beetles we're spawning in. But I see if you're looking at the thing, uh, the stag beetle can only do four damage to the rhino beetle, while the rhino beetle's doing six damage to the stag beetle. So if they're equally hitting each other. You can probably imagine it's going to be probably that kind of an unfair fight. But if something like that just happens, then... Oh, no. Well, my man, I know you don't want to actually do it, but you're probably going to have to. So let me get some snowballs. Let me get some snowballs. And uh, can I not... Wait, meet the beetles. What did I do? Have somewhat unkind encounter with them. That's hilarious. I can't actually push them. Oh, wait, maybe I can Wait, go! Move forward! Move further forward! Yes! Okay, there you go. You're good. Oh, he's fighting the weaker one! He mu Oh my gosh, he sent him flying. He might have a chance here. Come on, you got this! Just avenge your brethren! Avenge him! I believe in you! Well. Well. Yes, we're up in the ratio. All right, fine. Three rhinoceros beetles. I didn't mean to hit that one. I'm sorry. And we're going to fight four stag beetles. Serena just gets too cramped when you get... Oh, no, they've got larva. Quick, make the larva fight too. I didn't mean to accidentally spawn the larva. Um, we found out spawning in the larva is me just accidentally clicking the spawn egg on the actual beetle again. Instead of like an open spot. But it's okay. The larva can fight too. Look at it just chilling over there. But looking, looking at how this is going, it's actually a pretty even fight still. I mean, the larva is honestly the real re Like, look at the larva. The larva is the real reason why we're winning. Let's be honest. Just kidding, because the stag beetle is now about to lose again. Is he really? Am I really going to have to spawn in an extra stag beetle again? Like, two extra? Does that make sense? Well, he's gone. Hey, you guys got to kill your uh, larva. It it's an enemy. Do you not want to? Larva? Oh my god, it's moving. Larva, get in the fight. Can you not hit it? Oh, oh, oh nope, he's hitting it. <laughs> that poor larva. Alright, Rhino Beetle has one again. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Stagamondo Beetles are going to have to fight against four Rhino Beetles. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Alright, let the fighting commence. Guys. Guys, you want to fight? You want to... This is the part where you run at each other. No? Have we reached an impasse? Have you have you given up on killing each other? Are you now friends? 
Are they just like, I mean, if he doesn't cross the line, I'm not going for him. Oh, oh, never mind, we have confrontation. Oh, and there, oh, yep, there it goes. There it goes. And the fighting commence! Actually, it's more like uh, all five of these Beatles are about to eat this one, Ryan, I Beatle. <laughs> Come on, guys, help your teammate. He's, they're like, nah, fam, we're enchanting right now. Oh, never mind, the other Rhino Beals are getting into it. Well, some of them are. They're trying to, at least. This poor Rhino Beetle's fighting all of them at once. Yeah, what's funny is he's actually damaging the one that he's going after. Like, he's going at him. I think it's because they're, they're slightly quicker than the Stag Beetle. Yeah, he just killed one. Meanwhile, are you guys not gonna... I can't even budge them. Well, this one I bu I'm budging slightly. Yeah, they decided... Oh, this one's going over. All right. <laughs> well, they're taking them back to their nest. Hey, Rhino, you gonna, you gonna get in there and help your friend? You want you want to help your friend? They're fighting. All right, yeah, this is pretty much a Walmart fight. Okay, now he's fighting. And he killed one. All right, now it's four on one. Come on, you, you got this, Beetle. Hope he killed that one. Alright, well, that's another clean sweep for the Stag Beetles. Um, actually, why did I say it like that? This first time Stag Beetle was one, and that only happened because they were too far away. Alright, I'm going to keep the ratio the same again. We're going to try that one more time. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And let the fighting commence. It also, it, I mean, normally what happens is mobs like this that don't, normally attack one another whenever I force them to. There is always some delay occasionally where they're like, I don't know if I actually want to fight this guy. But they are. They're doing it. And it looks like... I don't even know what's happening here. Just like This one's not even attacking. He's just chilling. Oh, these two Rhino Beetles have, I guess, won their fight. And the Stag Beetles on this side won. And now we're, now we're on opposite sides of the playing field again. What are you guys doing? Go fight i wish there was a wait this is a stupid idea but does this work if i like take a lead can i i can't lead this can i lead you no i was gonna say could i like just get a lead and put move them over that'd be kind of funny um it's rare that something like this happens because normally their aggro range is pretty far but judging by this the, the beetles don't have a large aggro range also they hate snowballs you, are you guys gonna fight? Come on. Come on, you're making this video longer than it needs to be. Just fight each other. Proof who is the stronger beetle. That's that's the whole point. I like how they walk away. Like, nope. Nope. Joke's on you, boy. Now, I'm curious. If I get a water bucket, this is just... I don't know if they're... Oh, okay, he is fighting. Um, let me just see something real quick. If I do this, let that push everything? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do this for now. Just to keep them out of these corners. Which they seem to like going into. I know we don't like um, changing the playing field. But just to keep them out of the corners. That might help a bit. Um, just in the off chance they are refusing to fight. And it looks like something did go down. Because now we're down to one Rhino Beetle and one Stag Beetle. You gonna... I can't even budge this one. Oh, there he goes. Now you going? Yeah, now they're going. Alright. Rhino Beetle's trying his best. Stag Beetle's also trying his best. And, oh, I see what's happening. So they, they're getting put slowness, I believe. I think he actually has a slowness debuff on him whenever this, the Rhino Beetle hits him. Very interesting. Alright, well, one, two, three, four, five Rhino Beetles it is. And we're going to have them fight against six Stag Beetles. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's get you guys ready. I thought that one's actually going towards the water. All right, sees most of them are fighting this time, for better or worse. Yeah, I think that is slowness that they're giving them. That's probably how they're able to keep uh, maintaining that advantage. Now we've kind of just added water to the mix, so they're just all loving life right now. They're like, ha, I use water to my advantage. Oh, well, that one's dead. Rip. Yeah, these two Rhino Bees are just ganging up on everyone. Oh, he did kill one, though. 
Good job, Stag Beetle. Well, you're dead now. All right, so we got Stag Beetle over here that's injured and three Rhino Beetles. I believe in you, my man. Oh, he's going in. He's doing that. Oh, he's not going in. Okay, now he's going in. He's serpentining for whatever that's worth to him. And the Rhino Beetle has pushed him into the water. What is he going to do now? I like how this water just become a way for them to take advantage of versus just making sure they can't get in the corner. They are not pushing them into the water. All right. Stag Beetles are down. Rhino Beetles have won again. To be expected. All right. Let's go to the semifinal round. Let's spawn in... Maybe this six. Let's spawn in six of these boys. And we're going to spawn in, I think... 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boop, bitty, boop, 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 and boop. Alright, they should all be aggro. They should all be able to be aggro. Let's we'll see how this goes. Oh, they already took him to their feeding grounds. Meanwhile. Yeah, very interesting These how these mobs are fighting. It's... It's kind of funny. When have we ever seen this giant insect battle taking place in the arena? It's insane. But looking right now, it's pretty evenly matched. Because I see on one end, I see like three stag beetles attacking a rhino beetle. On the other end, I see like three rhino beetles attacking a stag beetle. Oh, well, someone just died there. Someone just lost body parts. You know, this would be an interesting thing to add into vanilla Minecraft. But what if like, if a mo as a mob took damage, part of their parts started flying off and you might be thinking that's pretty graphic Austin what are you talking about I mean for example like a zombie drops rotten flesh right what if like as their health gets below half they start to actually drop rotten flesh as you hit them like if your hits aren't actually killing them but just damaging them or a skeleton starts dropping bones that'd be pretty funny and interesting and a way to get more drops is he just wow he's safe spotting him look at him look at this technique wow wow beetles just wow Alright, moving on to the final round. Let's do it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Alright, so we got ten rhino beetles. And these ten rhino beetles are going to be fighting against fifteen stag beetles. It's take a while, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now it's tagging all these is also gonna be rough. Go! Go, 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 go. All of you fight! I don't think I got any of these. Go, 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 go. I got a larva. Tag the larva, too. All right, I think that's everyone. Throw the items down for good luck. Oh, wow. Just look at this. Look at this. 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 I don't even know what this is. It's madness. Sheer madness. Yeah, I didn't see this coming. You know who's going to win, though? The larva. The larva's going to win in the end. Actually, I'm pretty sure the rhino beetles are going to win. Because if you look over here, there's like some just not even moving. They're just chilling. Like, we don't have to even do anything. Oh, now they're doing something. <laughs> they got attacked. So they're like, okay, we're fighting now. Actually, no, never mind. Rhino beetles are at disadvantage. They don't all start getting their getting their players into gear. Like, that one dude's just chilling over here not doing anything. Like, the stag beetles are going to win. I believe. Because there's too many of them. The rhino beetles aren't going to be able to kill them off in time, I don't think. Yeah, that rhino beetle just died. Now there's just these two over here getting eaten by, like, eight stag beetles. Oh, that one's dead. There's only one left. He's get <laughs> This is just terrifying. He can't do anything. They're all holding him in place as they're slowly eating him. Meanwhile, at least the larva's still okay. Look at him over there. Um, hey, rhino beetle, I know you're the last of, like, the team, but you gotta get in there. You gotta get in there and prove that you are able to take down, like, ten. I believe in you. If you want to move a bit more, can, can you... Can you... Here. I got you, don't worry. I got you. There you go. Have fun. He's like, I got this, woo! Go for the child, break their morale, and then... Then take them out. Nope, he took one of them out. All right, so there's how many left? Eight and the child over there just chilling. All right, 
Well, guys, that's going to conclude today's mob battle. I honestly don't know who won. You guys can debate in the comment section which mob you think is strong, the Stag Beetle or the Rhinoceros Beetle. Also, feel free to vote in the poll for which mob was your favorite. That being said, though, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.